Esto es una locura. Vean a quién tengo frente a mí. No, no, no. No, nightmare. Hair gel, spray or mousse. Million dollar question. Oh. Apple intelligence. Greg, thank you so much for being here. I know we have limited time, so let's make it count. Oh, let's do it. A lot of exciting features are coming to iOS 26, but I'm sure there must be one that makes you feel proud of launching. There are many, but if I have to pick one, it, it has to be the new design, right? The new design, uh, what what a tremendous project. It is the kind of thing that, that really only comes along once a decade. Right. And this is the first time we've done it across all our platforms. It's taken, if you think about the different place that the the iPhone started in versus versus the long history of the Mac and how we've slowly moved them into a place where we could take this this step and really harmonize a, a single design language that brings the whole family together. Um, it was a massive undertaking. Uh, I, I really love what we've achieved and uh, so that's that's one of my personal favorite too. Oh good. I mean yeah it's been a decade. We needed that. <laughs> yes. We really yeah, needed that. No, it feels great. Everyone's jumping on AI like it's the answer to everything. Yeah. But Apple's been more careful, taking more time. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular reason as to why? Oh yeah, well Look, AI, AI is uh, tremendously exciting. It's it's a major transformative event. Uh, it's one that's going to take, like the internet, like mobility, it's going to play out over many, many years. At Apple, we ultimately uh, focus on taking these kinds of major technologies and finding the way to make them natural, accessible to everyone. And that, that does take careful consideration and, and hard work. And we also, our, our vision of AI is not exclusively about a, a chatbot interface. It's about putting intelligence where it is in your experience that you need it in the moment you need it. Uh, that, that you can be looking at something on your device and just with a, a click, uh, have acts yeah. searching, asking questions. These are the kind of things that can really uh, become part of your flow in your everyday life. So we're, we're continuing on that path. There's something else. This has been on my wish list for so long. There's a Photos app and also an iCloud website, but no iCloud Photos app. Right now, if you want to have quick access to your photos yeah. and videos, you need to keep them on your iPhone. But what if there were an iCloud Photos app for quick access while keeping your iPhone with more free space? What I mean with this is you don't have to log in to iCloud on the website yeah. to be able to see the photos or videos that you don't have on your iPhone. Right. Well. I think we might have built what you've been looking for. There is a setting, which I think is on by default on, on iPhone, which is called Optimize Storage. On your iPhone, with the Optimize Storage, what it does is whenever your phone needs more storage because you're trying to download more things, mm -hmm. it will offload that content. It'll keep the little thumbnails around so it feels like those photos are there, but now those photos and videos aren't actually taking space on your phone anymore. They're purely on the cloud. Okay. And so you go into the Photos app, and when you tap on those photos or play that video, Video, only then is it coming down from iCloud. And so it feels like they're all on okay. your phone, but you're not paying the storage for having them all on your phone. That's very interesting. You know, I do a lot of tips and tricks for my audience. Yeah. So being able to let them know about this, because this is a very um, frequent question that I get. Oh yeah. This is tips and tricks coming <laughs> from, from Craig himself. So that's great. I would also like to add, is there a chance that in the future we could be adding something that it's not about thumbnails or anything, it's just an app that you can tap as if it was your photos app, right? and you can see the full quality photos and videos? Well, I, I, I think, I mean, we feel like we're, we're doing something that right now gives you the best of both worlds, which is you don't have to think about another app or about manually managing storage on your yes. phone and you know offloading this deleting that yes. but let your iPhone do it for you automatically you do make me think that maybe we could make it more uh, clear in the storage management UI what's going on because oh, people yeah. don't yeah, uh, that would help realize. a lot yes yeah. and I would I would let I my <laughs> audience know how they can do it I will it take this back to the team but they will all be watching this video <laughs> no. so they'll find out anyway thank you yes. so much <laughs> I have one more thing and all this right. is gonna be very very quick it's a round of rapid Rapid fire questions. Okay. Are you ready? All right, well, we'll see. Let's go. Dark mode or light mode? Light mode. For iPhone and MacBook, case or no case? No case. 
favorite widget on your home screen? Photos. Now, after today, I feel like this one might be real pretty soon, but iPad with Mac OS, dream or nightmare? <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> not nightmare. <laughs> How can Mac OS be a nightmare in any context, but hey, not the right direction. I mean, iPad's gonna today, be iPad. Hair gel, spray, or mousse? Not, not, <laughs> oh, that's natural. Like, this is personal goals right here. Look, I'm trying my best. Okay, so that was awesome. Once again, right. thank you so much. Thank you. It's been great. Yeah. <laughs>